Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can make a quote generator inside of Notion. So for example, you have this quote here, but with this button you can generate random quotes from your database. So let's get building this thing. Right here, I just have a blank page and I have some quotes that I want to generate from. And I also have some formulas that I will use to generate the random numbers. So to set this up, you will need two different databases. So I'm going to create one here and I'm, call, I'm going to call it quote numbers. And then I am going to make another database called quote table. So the quote numbers is where we will store and generate our um, random numbers. And that is then going to select the quotes from our quote table. So what we can do is we can transfer these quotes into um, the quote table. And when you have your quotes in here, I'm going to turn my attention to the quote numbers. So the name is just going to be called name. But then we want to remove this tags field and instead turn it into a formula. So instead of a multi-select, you want to find the formula and then hit edit. And here is where we want to paste in one of these formulas that I had down here. So this is a formula to generate a number from one to five. And if you want to know exactly how it does that, you can check out one of my other videos that I have on it. So I'm gonna select that right there and I'm just going to call it a uh, number. And as we can see is when I add new pages here, it's going to kind of generate a random number from one to three in this case, or one to five in this case. So if I do um, more of them, it's going to be three, three, three. If I do edit property, edit, and then we can edit um, this one to be whatever we want. So the 40 is the one, one below um, what we want. So if you want 1 to 5, you say 40. If you want 1 to 10, for example, you say um, 90. And as we can see, we're getting a, a bit more of a spread in our numbers. And so we have our number right here. And then we want to go up to our quote table and kind of link these ones together. So I'm going to make a new column and I'm going to make it a relation. And then I'm just going to find the quote numbers that we just made and also make sure to add a relation to our um, quote numbers. And that should be it. So we have quote numbers here and then we have the quote table here. And then what we can do is that we can use the rollup to um, get from quote numbers the number itself. So I'm going to do that. And what happens now if I go down to quote table and select one of the quotes, we can see that um, this quote indeed will uh, be able to fetch the three that we have here. And what happens is if we do multiple of these ones and link it to the same quote, we can see that the rollup is starting to um, aggregate all of these different numbers. So what we want to do is we want to go back to our formulas and we only want to get the top value. So we can imagine that every time we generate a new number, we don't want to really retain um, the old ones connected to the page. We only want the new one. So I'm going to add a new formula. And what it's going to do is that it's going to take our um, roll up which is here, and it's going to only get the last one. So three one turns into one. And I'm going to replace this one and just call it top to be the latest one. So we have a roll up, we have our top, and then what we can do is we can number these quotes and say that, okay, if we generated a one, and then I only want to show the first quote, but if I generated a three, for example, I only want to show the third quote. 
So instead of this tags property here, I'm just going to make it into a text field and call it number. And then I'm just going to populate these fields after the number of quotes that we have. So one to five. So now we have the orderings and we just need one more formula, uh, which is this one. So we have the number and we have the top. So what we want to now do is we want to say, well, if the number is the top, then we want to say that we want to show it. Otherwise, we don't want to show it. So I'm going to call this display. And here I'm going to paste in this formula. So what we can see here, if it says that if the top value is the current rows number, so for example, if the top value is one, it will check um, if the number of this row is one, and then it will say display depending on that. So as we can see now, because the top value is one in this case, we're saying that we want to display this first quote, while it's two, three, four, five, and it's no in the other ways because this top value is not one, or sorry, not the number of that row. And what we can do is that we can actually link each and every row to each and every quote like this. And now this top value will get populated into all of our quotes. And then we can, then for example, if I would change this um, or generate a new one, <laughs> another three here. And again, I'm just going to do this manually, add all these pages, we can see that now everyone's top is saying three. And it's only the third row that will say yes, for this quote. So to recap, we are generating a number right here, we are sending that number to all of these quotes, extracting the top uh, number or the latest number that we had, and then check for each row, is this the number that we want? And then we have this display here. And the cool thing about this is that now we can make a new view up here where we show a gallery. Um, let's not show the database title and let's only show the page cover use card size large and hit done. And then I'm just going to give it um, a little icon. And then we can click filter. And we always want to fill for display. And we only want to keep the ones where display is yes. So now we see that we only display this third quote that we saw here. So not having the best situation, not having the best situation. And to make this even more pretty, we can add a, a cover here, click this one. And we can do that for each of these ones to just add a cover, um, change cover, again, nature. And open this one. All right. So now we have those ones in. So we have the quote right here. And but it's a bit um, tedious to add these ones manually. So what we're going to do is then add a button. So we're actually adding into our quote numbers. So up here, I'm going to search for button. And I'm going to say generate new quote. And when the button is clicked, we want to add a page to the quote numbers database. And we want to just call the number, we can just call it whatever, like number. Um, but the interesting thing here is the quote table, where we want to make sure that we are linking it to each and every quote that we have in our database. And with that, that should be it. So if I click done, I just click on generate new quote. We can see it will add a new number here. And then we can see that we are actually generating a random quote. And if I do another one, it's going to say one. And then it's going to come up with the next quote. 
and of course then you can uh, edit this formula so I don't know what happens if I do 50 instead um, we will get our 1 to 5 here so you can tweak the formula to to get you the range that you want and click generate quotes and in this case then um, we can generate these different um, quotes and to make this a little bit pretty you can kind of hide I guess the quote numbers or even put it in a separate page and just make this a little pretty you can just do this one and you might want to rename this view I like to do a little cog um, so you can easily update this if you want to but otherwise you can just keep it here there you have it you can generate new quotes um, on the fly with this random number generator and you can also imagine using this for um, for other applications if you want to um, display other things than quotes uh, you can just change this page here what you want to display all right thank you so much for watching and i hope it helped thank you